Hi everyone, this lesson goes over the fact family relating to the four operations adding, subtracting, multiply, and dividing. So let's begin with the two vocabularies right here. Fact family means related number of sentences that shows the same information. For example, 3 plus 4 equals to 7 and a related fact can be 4 plus 3 equals to 7, 7 minus 3 equals to 4, or 7 minus 4 equals to 3. So the most important thing to create a fact family is using the same numbers. The second word we need to go over is inverse operations. It's basically operations that reverses the effect of another operation. And as you know, if you're multiplying by a number, the reverse or the inverse operation will be dividing. And if you're adding by a number, the inverse operation will be subtracting, as you see right here and here. Now, how do we create a fact family using addition and subtraction, which they are the inverse operation of each other? In the example given below, we have 2 third, 4 ninth, and 1 and 1 ninth. So you should know that one of the fact given can be 2 over 3 plus 4 over 9 equals to 1 and 1 ninth, or 4 over 9 plus 2 over 3 equals to 1 and 1 ninth. Notice how we just switched the order of the number. And this is using something called the commutative property. Now if one knife is the sum of the two numbers, you can also do the inverse operation, which is one and one knife minus one of the two numbers, such as two thirds, which will give you the other number back, four knife. And same thing is true if you take one and one knife, subtracting four knife, it will still give you two thirds back. And again, adding and subtracting is inversing the operation, so you switch the order of the number where the back number, the ending number, is actually in the front right here. Now let's try a variable example which is using the facts family to solve the equation 2, 6 plus a number that you don't know equals to 5, 6. So again, we can rewrite this question using inverse operations. 2 and 1, 6 plus a number equals to 5, 6. And you can write this using the inverse operation, which is switching the order of the number as 5, 6 minus 2, 6 equals to the missing number. And this should become a lot easier to solve, given that it's a straightforward question. So we have the same denominator right here. All we need to do is subtract the numerators right here, which gives us 3, 6 as our final answer for n. So this last step right here is to solve the question. Now let's try another example right here, which starts with subtraction. So this question is saying that you have 4 and 1 third minus a number that you don't know equals the 2 eighth. So to understand this, let's review some of the basic examples, which 7 minus 3 equals to 4. Notice how if I switch the 3 and the 4, the equation will still be equivalent, which 7 minus 4 still gives you 3. And I can apply the same concept into this question. So I can rewrite this as 4 and 1 third minus 2 eighth equals to n. Notice how I have just switched the order of the two numbers right here. And this became a straightforward question that you can solve. As a reminder, to solve a subtraction question, you need a common denominator. And in this case, it will be 24. So we have 4 and something over 24 minus something over 24 as well. To turn a 3 into 24, you have to times it by 8. So you times the numerator by the same number, and we get 8 over 24. To turn an 8 to 24, you times it by 3. So you do the same thing in the numerator, you get 6. So the final answer to this question will be 4 and 224, and simplifying that gives you 4 and 1 12.